Louisiana, sportsman's paradise. Home to generations of Cajun, Creole, and French, with a history rich as a soft crab po' boy. She calls you like a mermaid, but she can drown you like a gator. That has always been the paradox here. Louisiana is a gumbo made of equal parts promise and danger. The coffee is strong at the Cafe Du Monde, but you might also receive your first scar from a Bourbon Street bar. Just past the next Cypress could be Amos Moses, or maybe the voodoo queen, Marie Laveau. Come with us as we journey deep into the land of black magic and big red fish. But you better behave, or the Rougarou is going to get you. So welcome to Retro Bassin. This week we're going to be fishing at Old School, deep in the bayou. Our trip begins with a trek across Lake Pontchartrain, through New Orleans, and then 39 miles south to Port Sulphur. My tour guide is a New Orleans native who's been yanking big reds out of Myrtle Grove for over 30 years. Watching him navigate the seemingly endless maze of Marshgrass Islands, I can't help but feel like I'm watching the embodiment of a Jerry Reed song. We spot some reds tailing in a protected cove, and I try to entice them with a Garcia topwater. After a few hard fishless hours, Jonathan hooks up with a keeper red. Maybe we'll start getting some. Alright, now more to go. That only took three hours, four hours. So. <laughs> About 10.30 tonight, you might have five. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's some fish back there. Some yeah, there's some movement. Were you bringing that thing in fast or slow? Yeah, it just hit the water, and then I kind of let it sit and just kind of bumped it a little bit. Nice, there's... Alright, we're going to get something. The wind has been ripping it at 25 miles an hour all morning, and we decide to make the run up Trapper's Canal in search of calmer water. Then suddenly, my luck changes. Oh my god, I got a fish. Yes. Come on. Hooked up, hooked up. Got I got the net. Oh my gosh, he's taking line. Good day. <laughs> he was back there, dude. Yeah. He was. I saw that thing come up. I was like, uh oh. I'm going to the front. Uh, is he a big one? Uh, he's big. Nice. Good. Good. <laughs> Oh, dude. oh, he's a big fish. He is now. He's trying. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh my gosh, this guy's a monster. He's, oh, dude, that's a nice. He smoked it. All right. Oh, 
What are the odds we can get him in? Bam! Nice! <laughs> nice. That is an awesome Very fish. Nice. nice fish! Woo! Oh, son, look at that. Perfect. Dude, that is a monster. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. That's got to be 24, 26, maybe even 27. Oh, my gosh. Uh, he, was, he was on it, dude. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Here we are, guys. Here's our monster red. Here's the bait we caught it on. The vintage raffle a minnow spoon. Old school bait. Big old red. So if you come down around Lucas by you. Down there in the woods. You ain't got your pistol on you, boy. Thing in the maybe you should. Who down? So we're back at base camp. <laughs> we had a pretty tough day on the water, all said and done. I don't know a ton about red fishing, but from what Jonathan told me, when the wind is blowing like this, you don't see those reds tailing at all, and you're basically blind casting to them. Otherwise, it's more like you're hunting, you follow them along, when you see that tail, you cast. We did some blind casting today. We did a ton of blind casting today. When I came to Louisiana, I had really one goal, and that was to catch a big red fish, on a piece of vintage tackle. I didn't really care what lure it was. Um, I wasn't really too concerned about how big that red was. Uh, we ended up catching a nice solid bull red on this guy, the Rapala Minnow Spoon. I fished with this bait more or less the whole day. Uh, Jonathan was fishing with a couple different things, mostly a Johnson Silver Minnow. And this fish is pretty similar to it. For those who remember this bait, and this is in the discontinued-ish category, you can still get it, uh, not so much in the United States, but in other parts of the world, they still sell versions of this bait. It's basically a heavy silver minnow. That fish definitely put the tackle to the test. Uh, that old Daiwa five foot six inch pistol grip rod, <laughs> it has never seen anything, trust me. In its long life, that rod has never seen anything like the fish that we caught today. That bad boy was doing everything he could to, to break my line, break my rod. Luckily, we got him in. Uh, we got him in the cooler. So, <laughs> mission accomplished. Until next time you're watching Retro Bassin, subscribe, hit that bell icon, drop a comment below, and definitely fish it old school. Down